a train of winter storms back to back to back could be setting up to move across the east. Our European model is still projecting a significant Arctic blast as we move into the third week of February. And is there actually potential for a polar jet split? I've heard some people talking about it, so we'll get into it. All right, let's talk about the weather. All right, our atmospheric river in Northern California has kicked in. This will obviously bring a lot of precipitation to that region, including the Pacific Northwest. And this will eventually over the next five days, make its way over the Northern Plains. We can clearly see this region just painted with snow. With some of our highest elevations in the Rockies and Cascades receiving over five or six feet of snowfall. Now this type of pattern is expected to continue until we get about midway into February, where the Euro is projecting a dip in the jet stream, getting the Central Plains and Southern Midwest involved. Here's our current jet stream set up over the US. This is holding that colder air and winter weather up to the north. As we move forward in time and approach mid-February, you can see our jet stream does want to begin to dig back down into the south. Now again, this would set up winter storm tracks from the south central region through the central plains and up towards the Midwest. So what does this mean for us moving forward? Well, our storm tracks over the next week, week and a half do want to move across the north with potential ice and severe weather affecting the Ohio Valley and out towards the Mid-Atlantic. Now, as we approach the second and third week of February, this jet does want to dip. This would help to move some of that snow, like I said, into the Midwest central plains and maybe south central regions. This once again, though, could spell bad news for the southeast, bringing more severe weather and potentially some significant severe weather outbreaks. My initial concern is this storm moving across across the north and east around the 5th and 6th. We are expecting this trough to move in through the northern plains and a significant low pressure to form. Now with this, we will have a lot of moisture and warm air moving into a lot of very cold and dry air. And that's a recipe for instability. It's not out of the question that we could have some very strong winds, hail, and even potentially a few tornadoes touch down with this setup. And on top of that, although I don't expect the ice to be this significant, if it comes anywhere close to this, this would be a severe amount of ice. We're talking about widespread power outages, highway closures, airport closures. But with the setup we have, again, we need a watch this because it's possible. And unfortunately, right after this system, our models are seeing another one. And there is some model consensus on both of these unfolding. So again, mid-Atlantic, northeast, midwest, Ohio Valley, you are on watch for potentially a couple major winter storms over the next week and a half. And well, according to our Euro and GFS, there may be a few behind it. When I tell you we're going to have an extremely active winter pattern in February, guys, I am not exaggerating. We could see multiple blizzards, heavy ice, severe weather outbreaks. I'm going to have my hands full. I lastly wanted to add that there have been rumors rumors that we could see a polar jet split. When you get enough warm air building up in the Arctic and a high pressure building, it can actually split your polar low into multiple sections. If something like this were to happen mid to late February, you could see those well below average temperatures sticking around in the lower 48 through March or even potentially the beginning of April, which is what happened back in 2018. Now we do have a high pressure wanting to build back up in the Arctic in February, but is it significant enough to break that polar jet into two or three sections? That I'm not so sure about, but again, it's something to watch. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follow or a sub. I do make posts like this every single day and go live every single night. So I'll see you in the next video.